So Caleb, what game are we playing today? Fugitive. And do you like Fugitive? I do. And why? It's just a strategy and deception game with a little bit of luck involved. Nice, and we like those, huh? Yes. How many people play? Two. Ooh, it's a two-player head-to-head. Yes. Love those. Where one person is? The fugitive. Okay. And the other person is the marshal. Nice, and it's very easy. It's very simple. You can see that on your turn, you only do a couple of things. Yeah. But is it a little bit tricky? Sometimes. you got to be thinking? Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, what's the objective? What are you trying to do as the fugitive? So the fugitive is trying to escape using this plane. And he okay. has cards with numbers on him that will slowly let him escape to for the number 42. So you're playing cards kind of yes. sequentially. And the marshal is trying to catch me by okay. guessing the cards that I'm playing. Nice. Well, how do you go ahead and play cards then? So if the fugitive has to place down a card that is within three of the number right here. So you're starting in jail at zero. And I would like play a two. So you could play a one, two, or three, which are yes. your starting cards. One, two, three, and forty-two. Okay. And then at the be very beginning of the game, the fugitive also draws three from the city limits and two from the county line. And those numbers tell what range is going to be in there. Mm-hmm. So you got your secret hand of cards. I do. Nice. Very many cards. Okay. And then I would say, and I'm. The fugitive's first turn, which he goes first, he also places two hideouts. Okay. And a hideout is where you place a card upside down. So I would place a three upside down. Okay. And since I have nothing within that range. So to play your second one, you'd be able to play a four, five, or a six, and you don't have those. Yes. So I will solve that problem by playing splint cards, which are these little numbers right in the corner. So that's like plus one and plus two. That adds to the number that you can run away from. Okay. So that would mean that from a three, you could go four, five, or six, plus one, seven, plus two, eight, or nine. Okay. So you could do any of those cards. And I would place them like this with the card I'm going on like that. So the hideout's the one on top. And yes. the ones below are the sprint cards. Mm -hmm. So you've placed your two hideouts. Yes. And then the marshal gets to go for his first turn. Yes. He can draw two cards from any pile. He could draw one and one, or he could draw two from the same. He'll draw one and one, and get a 13 and an 18. And does he play his cards? He does not play the cards. He gains information from them, knowing that I could not have played those cards. Okay. So right now, let's say, and then he gets... To, to guess one of my hideouts in any order. It doesn't have to be this one first, it could be that one. Okay. So he'll say, he'll point to this one and say three. Well, three. he doesn't have to point to it, he just has to say a number. Yes. He just says, oh yes, he doesn't point. He just says a number, and if any of them are that number, they flip it over. So he says three, and it would be right. So if we got it right, you flip so it I over. flip it over. And if he got it wrong, what would you do? I would say, I would look at it if I forgot and say no. And he would have no idea what the hideout was other Dang, than the tweet. He missed. Mm -hmm. And then a normal term for the fugitive is? Draw one card from any pile. So okay. I will probably draw one from this pile. <laughs> this pile. I'll get a 15. And this card is an 8. So. And then what are you going to do? I have an 11. So I'll just place a card. So just you can to... place a hideout. You don't have to. Yes, you don't have to place a hideout. I will. And it has to be within three unless you split. All right, and the marshal's the subsequent marshal turns? will go, all right, he'll draw a card, and he saw that I draw from, drew from this one, so he thinks that will probably be close to this. Okay. And then he'll draw a card from this one because he still needs information, and he'll say, all right, so I think, I uh, guess two last time, let's say. I'm going to guess um, three and he can guess as many hideouts as he wants, as long as they have to be... So what if he guessed number. three and nine? Then what I would, would say, say no. Even though one of those threes of is right, correct. He doesn't have the other one. So there's a danger in guessing more than one hideout, even yes. when you're getting behind as the marshal. Yes. Ooh, it gets tricky, huh? Mm -hmm. So let's say the marshal guessed three and eleven. Lucky guess. Fugitive would look and say yes. 
and flip those over. However, the marshal wouldn't have caught up to him because he hasn't guessed this hideout. Oh, so the marshal will have to keep guessing. Yes, but the marshal knows that it's either 10, 9, or 8 because it has to be within 3. You have to be within 3 because you right, didn't, you didn't to play that any one. sprint to 11, so that gives him more information about what that hideout might be. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't have sprinted all the way to 10, even if they were both plus 2s. So he knows it's either an 8 or a 9. Yeah. So, so your next turn as a fugitive, you're definitely going to want to lay down another hideout because yes. he's catching up. So then I would go, and let's say I would put down a 15 down here, and a 12. So he thinks I dashed far, but I only squinted one. So you went from 11 to 12 as your next hideout, but you put a sprint card under it to fake him out. So he thinks I went further. Oh, nice. Good thinking, man. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of that, a lot of strategy back and forth. Mm -hmm. Luck of the card draw and what you're pulling from, yeah. which cards actually come up. So how many games do you typically play? You just sit down and play one game? Uh, no. You <laughs> have a rematch if you lose. Yeah. And then another rematch. Mm -hmm. And another rematch. And then maybe another rematch if they all agree to it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what would you rate Fugitive? I would rate it a 4.3. Fantastic game, huh? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Caleb. Mm -hmm.